to Aaron Our, Taylor Johnson. Yes. Ooh. He is the front runner for James Bond right now, which we did talk about. But when we were on that subject, I just saw a ton of replies to that that had nothing to do with James Bond and had everything to do with trashing his wife, who is 55 years old. Uh, I think, how, how many years older than... 23. 23. 23 years older than Aaron Taylor Johnson. By the way, their their names are so long because I they hyphenated it. their last names, which and he, I always he, roll my he eyes He gave at. the traditional male feminist response of saying, you don't have to take... Why does a woman have to take a guy's name? Why, right, guys? Right, exactly. But why? who decides which last name comes first? Yeah, like, did they, did they do paper <laughs> rock? I like the idea that they did paper rock scissors. Maybe. Maybe. Or they or they played like, oh, no. How know. long this, ago was this? Maybe they were playing like games of uh, Words with Friends and whoever yeah. won <laughs> got to pick the, the first name. Remember Words with Friends? I liked Word with Friends more than Wordle. Uh, Wordle was such a psyop. Yeah, by the like, way. that was, yeah, it was a data collection thing. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> anyway, a lot of these people were saying, like, he should divorce his wife. They were calling her a hag, all of these mean names. She was married before him, too, for 11 years. Yes, and she had children from that marriage as well. But now she's had a couple of children with Aaron Taylor Johnson at, like, 42, 45. Yeah, she, like, that's. Which is. Wild, Ooh, yeah. Right? Like, um, I mean, like, like there was a, an article in The Hollywood Reporter the other day from. I don't. I, it might have been. From uh, who's the lady from the uh, the Woman King? Um, frick, I should know that. Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> is it Viola Davis? Viola Davis. Yeah. It might have been from Viola Davis. It might have been from someone else who's talking about like, oh, look, my I'm 50. My years of giving birth are coming to an end. I'm like, they've kind they've of been, been over, over girl. For, like, <laughs> yeah. for the most part, for a while now. Yeah. yeah. So they time. they have been married since 2012. It seems like they're going strong. Yeah. Uh, heard nothing but positive things, but everyone thinks that actually he was groomed into this marriage because they met when he was only 18 on the set of Nowhere Boy. Yes. yes. And she was his no, superior. Not on the se- not, no, not on the set. What happened was she auditioned for him oh. to be in the movie in her house. In her which, own house. That's the most Hollywood. Oh, yeah, my, my schedule's just really busy right now. Come to my house. If you're a dude, like if, like, if like somebody what? gave you this advice, if you're an aspiring actress, it's you right now. You're not even 18, you're 22. And some big wig Hollywood director says, would you please come to my house? to audition in person yeah like you Casting know couch. totally yeah, yeah. Casting like, couch moment, but but yeah. apparently they did not kiss or even get involved until after the movie was that's done the official shooting. narrative and that least. he proposed to her before they were even romantically involved because he was just so in love look you guys have your own opinions on this i think it's hilarious because it's just <laughs> it's such a it's such a backwards thing from what we normally see in hollywood yeah for sure and and this is the issue like the fact that they met when he was 18 and she was in a position of power. And that's yeah. where the ethical conversation comes in. It's like, look, I think he's it? happy now. Go for it. And that's like, what's that going doesn't to get bother to. They've had children together very quickly after they yeah. got together. They still are together. At this point, he's in his early 30s. Like at this point, he has, he definitely has power. If he yeah. wanted to leave the relationship, he definitely could. It's a different dynamic. It's a now very than it different dynamic. Started, yeah. And she had two children before uh, from her previous marriage. One who is only a couple of years younger than him. Uh, I think really that's twenty seven. I think that the the sec- the oldest of her children that she had before they had their two children. So uh, they have four kids together, two stepchildren, uh, and then two children of their own. I just don't like it. I don't like the vibe. No, but here's the issue, and I think this is. I'm going to be blunt. It, look at her. And this is my problem. It's like, it's not like she is like a MILF where it's like, sorry. Like a real house. Guys, the women are about to get judgy here. I have to because it's a big, okay, obviously women and men see the other gender differently in terms of relationships. Like women are valued for how we look and men are valued for other aspects. But so I'm going to like look at it that way. So he's not like at this time, he's not able to provide anything because he's only 18 and men are valued for what they can provide. Yeah, absolutely. And she's uh, she's older and she's not able to provide for her looks. Yeah, Uh, she wasn't even hot when she was younger. She wasn't hot. doesn't Doesn't this make it more believable that it's actually love? No. That he's like he loves her They're in spite of the fact that she's. It, it that makes she's it not look beautiful. like he's mentally ill. Yeah. Or oh like, come on. <laughs> or really? yeah. What? I mean, it makes him look like he has mommy issues. Uh, I mean. It, it, and yes, I will have a double standard. If this was a male and a female, I would have a double standard. I would still think it's kind of sus that they met with the whole like casting couch mm-hmm. situation, obviously. But I would look at it differently, probably more favorably. Yeah, I definitely. don't think that this is normal behavior for any man of his age or his, his. But has he not like worked enough to prove that it's that it's not a 
that it's not some passing thing that they've been together now for uh, over a decade. They've yeah. got two kids together. Yeah, for like sure. maybe longevity it wasn't, isn't the only. Perhaps sign, it but... wasn't the perhaps it wasn't the healthiest thing to start. And there's definitely questions that should be asked if we're holding everyone in Hollywood to the sta- same standard about the being a director, being an actor, and then getting a job, and then supposedly getting together conveniently right as he's old enough or, or like mm-hmm. 19 and no longer her employee. Like, look, fine. But does he not get credit for the fact that they seem to work together well? I mean, they've been together for a long time. Yeah. We so know I, nothing. But <laughs> again, yeah, and we don't know what's... I Honestly, like I said, what the driver for me is just how she looks unfortunately that's where i'm like this is just weird like why would he like biologically it doesn't make sense like yeah. she's not she doesn't even look like she could be fertile like she's not fertile she doesn't look like yeah. she could be fertile and that's what men evaluate in women yeah. and and for i don't know he was very young like very very young i probably i don't know inspiring actors they're probably not making much so obviously they made something of their relationship with the kids and stuff but it's like where like how many 18 year old boys are really thinking about having a kid like even if they're in love like most men don't have a kid until they're like in their mid to late 20s or early 30s they so also that's use the the line about like he was so mature for his age I hate that like I, I, I don't even I'm not talking about it in terms of ethics anymore I just don't think the the vibe is right the vi- okay I think that's a great way to put it actually this might be this might be a fundamental b- difference between men and women I see it and I'm like did they break any laws no I don't care like I mean that's the right way to look at it because again like it's everything's so nuanced like yeah. we really don't know and there's so many different situations and that's the problem when it comes to these things she did however direct a uh, Bond girl video short back in 2009 so maybe she was the in that he needed oh. to get his interview with Barbara Broccoli to to be up for the role of James Bond. Okay, how serious is this with him becoming James Bond? Because he should not be James Bond. Why not? I mean, can I, I ask the audience? I, I actually. I, I mean, I, like, I, the funny thing is, is like I think he's at. I think he's his best looking when he's got facial hair, and James Bond doesn't really do facial hair, so like it's. Uh, he doesn't have the vibe for uh, James who, Bond. Who has the vibe? <sighs> there would be a lot. I can't name think, top of my head. But I think no matter one. who is chosen, people will be mad. Oh, oh, for yeah, sure, because it's a hard lot. I mean, look at, I don't think there's many men that exist now in, in terms of Hollywood that have general, that, that yeah. charisma and energy that a James Bond must have it's, and that have had for the past 60 years since it's existed or whatever, 50 years. The so, funny thing is, is I think he's where they want James Bond to go because they don't want him to be inoffensive. Super, they, oh, yeah, yeah. And, and that's the point. If they're trying to do that to me, I'm not. I'm, I mean, it, Reggie Jean Page is more handsome than this dude. Reggae John Page is objectively a better looking dude than this dude. It's just that then we have to get into the discussion about race swapping. I'd rather race gonna... swap it than have this guy, honestly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's my take. I'd rather race swap there, there it. There you go. I mean, he looks if like he could be, uh, like, he looks like he could be Q. He, he could be, because they, like, uh, no? Q? Q? You think? Yeah, I think he could be Q. I mean, he's too big of an actor, I think, now to, to play a bit part in that role. But it, look, uh, she looks like she does look like every theater manager I've ever met in my entire life, like local theater manager. She looks like she works in the arts. Uh, but if they're happy, they're happy. Like this is a this is a men and women difference thing. These okay. ladies like went deep, like did a deep dive into like why like and I get it. Like you, your your points are valid. You have your own critiques for what may or may not be. I just I can't bring myself to to care as long as no laws were broken and he's not complaining, she's not complaining. What right do I have to well, tell them not to do their thing? I, I mean, I'm not telling them. To do yeah, anything, I'm not going to inject. Like, I'm not going to find them. And but the thing is, there them. is a concerted effort right now to make older women like what's in, in yeah. terms of like what's hot, and. I think it's something you have to astroturf because that's never been the case. Somebody in the chat mentioned it. Demi Lovato and Ashton Kutcher did this two decades ago. 20 years ago. Demi, Demi, Demi Moore? Uh, Demi Moore. Yeah. Demi, Demi, Moore Demi Yeah, yeah they, they did this but, 20 but years Demi ago. But Demi Moore was hot. Yeah. That's the difference. Demi Moore was sexy. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah. This is what it comes what down to. What is the appeal of a woman with this physiognomy who probably reads feminist theory? She's reading, she loves Gloria Steinem and it's like, yeah, but all, okay, yeah. so, so <laughs> that's, a, that's assuming that every dude uh, looks for, I mean, maybe because he's more financially viable than, than the average dude, but these days I see more like better looking dudes with less good looking women on the street, on the, I not agree, in Hollywood. But, but yeah, I, I get what you're saying. I definitely get that, but I just think that this is so extreme of like, a difference yeah. 
based but, on the age and just how she looks at her age. That's so, but it also maybe you're looking, you're saying that uh, that men evaluate evaluate women women based on your looks, but your critiques here have to do with looks, which means it matters to women too. What, Is evaluate other women? Yeah, but uh, so so maybe he just doesn't have that in him in this case. I think there he just doesn't have a biological imperative. And then well, he clearly has a biological issues. imperative because he's got two kids. He did have kids, so again, maybe there's a mommy issues thing, and maybe this is just a very and this is again, this is a case that this is why we're talking about it. It doesn't happen very often, yeah. And that's why it's an interesting conversation because it's so bizarre to us, just because it goes against all of the biological yeah. instincts that we have, yeah. um, and that men and, and women have. So I mean, that's what it comes down to. Again, they're happy, whatever. But I, I'm, I'm saying, I mean, only in Hollywood. I mean, only in Hollywood would do these this things. Is not nor- yeah, it's not and then we contrast this with like Florence Pugh yeah. having the, been in this relationship with Zach Braff that that broke off last year. They had a 21 year age gap. She was 27. He was about 47. And uh, I mean, I just That's I do deal. have a double standard. I don't care about yeah. that. You know? That's no big deal. Uh, I just care about that. Yeah. That's and then really I'm here like, I said, like, neither of them. I don't have a problem with either of them. Like I said, like, my brain goes as far as were any laws broken? Were they legal adults? Were they were they capable and aware of their own actions when they made those choices? You can We can talk all day about what their upbringing was. Were they abused as a child? Are there mommy issues there? Are there daddy issues there? I can't speak to that. I can just say that, uh, you know what? If he's happy... You know, more power to all the women now, all the middle, mid-looking women working the power the, to mid-women. That, that can work in the theater and hope that they're going to pull their very own uh, future James Bond. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I ultimately, at the end of the day, we don't care we don't like care. The, about these We're individuals, it. but yeah. it's just like the trends are shifting right now, maybe in the interest of reducing reproduction rates yeah. in the West. Yeah. I, I don't know what is planned, what is not, but and you have maybe to- she's just an absolute panther in the sack. Uh, unlikely. Look, I, I honestly doubt it. I'm look, sorry. Just by looking at her. She looks rigid. Look. She looks so, yeah, exactly. Just, uh. She's rigor mortis is <laughs> setting in already. <laughs> rigor mortis, yeah. I mean, she literally could be a grandmother by now. She maybe is. Sure. So well, both of her well, children yeah, are in their are, late yeah, adult, 20s, her. early 30s already, yeah. so... It would be more interesting to see what the relationship is like for the for him and the stepdaughter who's like nearly his age. That would be interesting. Like it would be more normal for them to be dating. Together, yeah. <laughs> but it would be this. interesting to see like how the kids like they they could have their own reality show. The kids like having to come to accept the uh. fact this is a trope you see in like movies and TV shows. But it's usually the dad marries some younger woman yeah. who's almost the same age that's as more the kid. Biologically makes sense. But yeah. also another thing that has to do with this is a lot. Think of the divorce rates. A lot of women in their 40s and 50s are divorced and trying to date. And then imagine you're a woman that age, you have certain standards. You kind of have to go either for a younger guy, the men who are older... That's your... Okay. Would rather go for a younger woman, 10, 15, 20 years younger... That the women, so I think that there's this competitive issue going on in terms of people who are who are past their first marriage or divorced and in the dating scene. So I think that there's definitely going to be more of this happening just because these women are going to try, like maybe the media or whatever is going to try to like make older women sexy, and they are a lot of them getting plastic surgery, all that to look better. Yeah, plastic surgery and all those things have now like increased shelf shelf life absolutely uh to the point where you don't have to just look at it as if you hit the wall when you're when you're 25 and a lot of women don't a lot of them look amazing and yeah. then and then the incentive for younger men a lot of men think about like the job market right now a lot of guys in their 20s are struggling hard so let's let's say you're a 25 year old guy and there's a woman who's 45 has had a job mm-hmm. for 20 years milf manor guys and this is the, 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 the it's milf, a recession yeah. thing too <laughs> it's a recession thing so a lot of them might be looking for an older woman oh. to help provide and, so and cougars are a sign of recession we cougars. figured it out perfect <laughs> That's exactly. uh, we figured it out here. Look, like, and this has been going on <laughs> for a long the time. These, these types of uh, m- the media pushing stuff like this has mm-hmm. been going on for a long time. I just, I'm just not really that into judging them for it. If they're I happy, I'm happy. Good for them. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.